Hey everybody, how are you doing? Um, it's been a minute. I'm just here to make a quick video. Um, and I just really wanted to talk about sexual sin. And the reason why I wanted to talk about sexual sin is because it's just been on my heart lately. Um, and I know that a lot of people have dealt with sexual sin in their lives. Everybody has a past, you know, whether you did something or you didn't, you know. Um, hopefully you made the decision not to do it, but a lot of people unfortunately have made the decision to have sex before marriage and, you know, do a lot of things, particularly um, the people I want to address are women, uh, because I noticed that um, a lot of women, we hurt over our past sins anyway because I believe that women we deal with things eternally you know it just you know, messes us up and that's just kind of on our regular everyday lives you know when we do something or we're struggling with something we take it in and you know we struggle with it in that way so I just wanted to talk about um, self-worth um, because to God we are special to God we are wonderful you know we were wonderfully made in his image and sometimes that's hard to see when we make mistakes um, no one's perfect everyone sins you know uh, Romans three twenty three says for all have sinned and come short to the glory of God uh, that means everyone has sinned in some form or another so you know you're not alone we all make mistakes Christians make mistakes everyone makes mistakes um, the key to it is though is to not allow those mistakes to break you um, because the worst thing there could be is a broken woman in my opinion you know that has been broken from past experiences or even present experiences or decisions she's made or anything like that because especially when dealing with relationships and men you know, sometimes we can find ourselves in situations where, you know, we might put those men um, over ourselves. It's been times where you can probably, you know, have sex, not wanting to at the time. There's women out there that had sex very young um, and it could have hurt them. And, you know, now that you're older and wiser you wish you didn't do those things and you still carry that there's women that's had abortions women that that had all kind of situations go on so I just want to address that and tell you you know if any way you could be possibly struggling with the pain of your past just let it go and understand that God truly is a loving God and he will forgive you if you haven't asked for forgiveness ask for forgiveness ask God to cleanse you the thing that's wonderful about God is that he can erase your past I mean you still have to live with those mistakes, you know, like the consequences of those mistakes. You still have to bear, bear those things. But thank God with Christ, you can just give it to him and you can feel special. I mean, that's what Christ died for. Christ died for us so that we can be brand new, you know, that we can have a second chance. I mean, he died for us for our sins, but he also died for us to have a new path, a new beginning. Because we were sinners saved by grace. So therefore, we're new a new creation you know or the old things have passed away everything has become new you know and you still will make mistakes you know after you've done this but you know what you grow in Christ you read your Bible it helps you to uh, not make the same mistakes that you made the closer you get to Christ the closer you get to God and how holy and amazing he is it'll help you not to make those same mistakes that you may have made in the past but I want to say that you're beautiful you know you're beautiful you're amazing you know you're incredible and no one can take that from you because God is so wonderful I mean he loves you so much if you have a low self-esteem anything like that from your decisions know that God truly has forgiven you and that you're beautiful to him you're a daughter of God you're special okay so that's really all I wanted to say it's gonna be kind of a quick video but I just wanted to put that out there you know if you're struggling with that don't worry about it too much you know and try to just build yourself back up but build yourself back up in Christ you know because he's 
He's all you need, you know, honestly. He's he's just and he's incredible. If you just gave him a chance, you know, open up to him and tell him, pray. It's all you have to do. And if you need more advice about it, just inbox me. I'm here, you know, and I'll always uh, try to help you to the best of my ability. Um, but just let it go and just know that you're special. And if you have a husband now or you're going to meet a new man or you have a boyfriend or whatever, just know that you're special. You know, it's a lot of things I've done in my past, you know, as far as all kinds of just regular sins, you know, just lying, anything, you know, that I regret. But you can't live a life of guilt. You just can't. You're just beating yourself up and for nothing because Christ already, that was the reason Christ died. So that you don't have to walk around in that guilt and shame. You can let it go. You can give it to him. Okay? So I just wanted to go ahead and pray for you if you would like. Um, here we go. Father God, I just thank you for allowing me to make this video, Lord. I thank you for being such a wonderful and gracious God. Lord, I ask you just to help anyone that's watching this video that might be experiencing um, guilt uh, from their past, Lord. I just ask you to help them to let it go, Lord, and just to help them know that they're special and that you love them, Lord. I ask you to heal them from the inside and out, Lord, and I ask you to help them to seek you, Lord. Uh, I love you so much, and I thank you for healing me from my past mistakes and things, Lord. You're wonderful, you're amazing, and I love you so much. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. God bless.